All right, guys, so now that we have our server set up and now that we can use SSH keys, the last thing we want to do SSH related is we want to disable that default password login because like I said, this was the whole reason we were learning this because password authentication kind of sucks. So to connect to the server, SSH root at there, all right. So we're connected to the server. Let me just clear the screen. All right, so we're in the server and all we're gonna do now is we're gonna edit one little line in the SSH configuration file. So I know I didn't talk to you guys about these little editors in your terminal, but what you can do is if you run sudo, since we wanna be tweaking a configuration file, we need the right permissions. And actually, I forgot, since I'm logged in as root right now, I don't even need sudo. So if you just write nano, and nano is the program that allows you to edit like um, multiple lines of text at once, because just in your terminal, you're like working with the one line at a time. So we wanna open the following file in the text editor. So etc, remember that's where most of our configuration files were, ssh, sshd, underscore config. So I'll run this command, and then we see that we can like move up and down and just work with multiple lines. So it's a lot easier than just, you know, using one line at a time. But the line that we're looking for is permit root login. And if I scroll down and here it is right here. So permit root login, yes. So this is saying, do you want root to be able to log in? And right now it's just sent to yes which is the default in whenever we do that, they can log in any way they want, password, um, SSH key, whatever. But what we wanna change it to is delete the yes and write without password. So now they're still allowed to log in, but they can't do it with a password they need to use the key. Now in order to save this, hold down control and hit X, and that's gonna close out of it. And then if you hit Y, then it's gonna save it before. So hit Y, to save and enter. So again, whenever you make changes using nano, control X, Y, and then enter. Simple enough. So whenever we make changes to configuration file, we usually need to reload it or restart the service. So reload SSH. This just means restart it so the new changes that we just made take into effect. So just close out and you're good to go. You can just now log in. And again, whenever you log in now, is just gonna look at your SSH key. If I can paste that in, all right. So there, we are allowed to log in. And the cool thing about that is, if anyone else tries to log in, even if they see your root password, it's still gonna say access denied because you need to have that key and we are the only ones that have it. It's only on our computer. Pretty cool, safe, secure, awesome. See you guys next time.